Okay, welcome back. So this is the uh, first part where I take you through how to design the navigation and the header and also to adjust the body section. So let's go straight to our text editor. Now as we all know that we are very familiar with uh, Sublime Text. So this is going to be very very simple. Now this is uh, the basic things which you need to, to have on the, on the page. Now you can pause this video so as to be able to type all these all these stops here and if you have watched my previous videos in the last video you can see you can just copy this from it now what you need to do is very simple now this is the end of the head tag and now everything we need to do now is in the body tag now what you need to do since you are trying to design a navigation it's very simple but we are trying to um, use a div that means for the name yeah, we're going to open a div that means to make sure it's um, fluidy now you open a div again now that is div now you now open a, on other list now these are the basic things you need to do now before we start in the class let's let's quickly um coordinate uh, this okay now we need a class of our uh, another list under this we need a class nav nav bar nav navbar right okay now once you have these uh, the next thing you need to use is uh, the list that means one after the other uh, now this should be uh, active sorry this should be uh, active that means um, the the, um, the uh, shadow should be on this okay it's rare if, um, let's link it to nothing for now Let's see. Uh, sorry. Oh, okay. Now after this, you need this, but this doesn't need a class again. Okay. So what you need to you need to link now. Since we are going to use scroll spire, I don't worry. I'm I'm, I'm going to show you what a scroll or uh, spire means. That means uh, since it's a one page, once you click, it's going to take you to a section, a particular section. Uh, showcase. Okay. A link it to um, contacts, contacts. Okay, mm, contact. Okay. Now, once you are done with this, uh, let's um, populate this. The let's add a class. Um, navbar header. Now you can read more about the classes of these we have on. Uh, you know on um, w3 schools uh, and hold up website on the internet uh, before we had this let's add a class uh, we need to add a class good uh, navbar brand now link towards nothing for now and um, sam's used cars okay now uh, i think we are done with that but before since we are inserting this thing inside a container we have to give it a class what type of container that will be container fluid so container fluid okay now once you have drew through with that now our navigation so we need to add a class to it now what class are we going to add now navbar navbar inverse navbar fixed top that is how you can have a static header okay now once you are done with this uh, i think uh, with this you uh, one it's okay now but so uh, the reason why i'm using scroll effect is this i'll show you now on, on the body on the body we have here we have the body here body um, we have um, the body okay now body data spy equals okay spy equals scroll that means once you scroll 
it should take effect on each uh, nav menus. That's the target. Now, dot nav bar. Good. Now, once you have this, I will show you how it works. Now, okay. Now, this is a uh, good. Now, as you can see, it works. Now, this is a very simple one. This is the navigation. So, and uh, we have this. It won't work for now, just because we we haven't uh, you know done anything that relates to uh, the showcase section and the contest section. The next video, I'm, I shall be taking you through the uh, the carousel. Thank you. Watch out for the next video.